A $7 million jury verdict was reached in favor of a mentally incapacitated young man who says he was sexually assaulted while he was a patient at Alta Point Health System's Bay Point Children's Psychiatric Hospital in Mobile. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrunyak joins us now. Lisa, you spoke with his attorneys today. I did, and the young man was actually represented by his mother in court, although he did testify. Our client, chronologically in age, was 19 years old. However, his mental capacity, uh, this came out at trial, uh, was that of basically an 11-year-old. Which is why his mother was appointed as the guardian in this case that dates back to 2019. So our client was there uh, voluntarily. He admitted himself and uh, on November 18th of 2019. And um, on the evening of November 21st, another patient snuck into his room and sexually assaulted him. Lacey Smith and Brian Comer tried this case. They say their client required supervision at Alta Point at least every 15 minutes. Comer says his client went unsupervised for hours, sometimes up to six hours, pointing out video evidence of nurses not checking his room. They say in an hour and 15 minute gap of being unsupervised, another patient went into their client's room and sexually assaulted him. Comer says they were behind a locked door for eight minutes. So what evidence is there to support the claim that your client was raped? So for starters, the uh, note uh, that was entered by the nurse who walked in on the act noted that the other patient was in our client's room on top of him in his bed. Neither of them were wearing pants. After the incident, Comer says his client was taken to a, quote, timeout room for 18 hours. He was then taken to a local hospital to get examined. That um, evaluation at USA concluded that the sexual assault did indeed happen. The CEO of Alta Point Health says, quote, we sympathize with the patient and their family. This incident, as alleged, is not something any of us would allow to happen. As heartbreaking as these allegations are, we must also recognize that the challenges we face in mental health are vast and complicated. We respectfully disagree with the decision by the jury and will be appealing this verdict. The jury unanimously decided for the plaintiff and awarded $3 million in compensatory damages and $4 million in punitive damages. Kim?